Episode 3, Carson House, September 24th. My name is Noah, I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I am sending this, but I hope my story could be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor at almost all... Ugh, I'm sorry. My dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at the local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Oh, okay, wow, we're just jumping right in there. This is, uh, not a house. This is a laundromat. Zoom? Okay. What? Shift to sprint. <laughs> um... Are we at work right now? Is just... We're just feeling it, huh? Hell yeah. Just run. Just get down here as fast as possible. But, uh... I'm sorry, sir. Were none of the other laundromats open? You had to pick the one right in the middle? Bleach. Uh... Excuse me. Where did you put it? Where did I put what? Where is the bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place and who are you? I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah. Nap time's over, we're here. Oh, am I dreaming? We're here, you said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Oh, did I fall asleep in the car? Noah, wake up. Did you, uh, you still think you can do this? Um, how long did I doze for? Doesn't matter, can you do this now? I got it, Dad. Hell yeah. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Okay, now get your ass to work. God damn. It was a nice neighborhood. There's something real nice about the, uh, the grain filter and makes me feel like I'm playing like an old PS2 game. Oh, don't like that. I probably shouldn't look through the windows. It's like really tripping me out. Hey, are you nice? Hey. Little Rottweiler. Where the hell is this fake rock? I see no fake rock. I see doghouse. I see this. Is this a fake rock? Is this your idea of a rock? It's a rug. Hey, buddy, where's a rock? Where are the keys? I need the keys. Lead me to the rock, I'll find the keys. Lead me to the keys, I'll find the rock. How are you gonna tell me the keys are in the backyard underneath a fake rock and then hide the fake rock? Oh my god, what? I hit exit to pause. Text messages? Are we actually texting right now? Um, okay, let's look through this real quick. This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you are either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you would come tonight. Me too. Things do not keep our 
your old man happy. Uh, you know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. Rawful. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that b call you again? I just can't help but st still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend? Wink wink? 100% 100% wink wink. Smiley face heart. This little baby. That's a cat's ass. Honestly jealous of Ava. I know, right, right, right. Just had this weirdest dream ever. It's gotta be like small, tucked away somewhere, right? Cause there's no way I would have missed it if it was like an actually big fucking rock. Is this, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, it's just a single click. What is this? Do not disturb for any reason. Any reason at all. I had to pee. What the fuck is this game? I don't- where's the bathroom? Can I lock it? Come on. I know we're the only ones, but... You're kidding, right? <laughs> I was done with it. <laughs> wow. Can we wash our hands? There we go, we flush. Uh, text messages... Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early, Mr. Carson? Uh, my bad, it's Roy. Uh, got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha, <laughs> he's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Is there someone in the house? Or, oh, Zeke the dog? I will take care of him and the house now. I have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. So Zeke, Zeke's the dog, I'm assuming? You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him some dog food from the basement. Oh, the, the basement though? You sure? There's... I swear to god. Almost forgot, I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Oh, it's 100% a problem. Let's grab that fucking flashlight. Where the fuck is this flashlight? G to throw. Why the fuck would I throw my flashlight? Oh yeah, it's one of these flashlights that like absolutely doesn't do anything. Well, I can't say that I'm still in the light. Okay, okay. Um, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Dark and creepy basement. Oh, it's actually not as big as I thought it was. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, Zeke. Zeke, boyo. Here you are. By the way, had to open the can, mother. See, I don't play technical games like this, where you have to do every tiny little step. Why is the game making noises like that? Uh, right mouse button. It's, oh my god. Okay, Zeke. Where are you, buddy? I got a toy for you, too. Let's go for it. Space to get up. I remember I was doing calculus that night. Oh yeah, that's right. We're still going through a story. Um, password. Zeke. Did you forget your password? Did you forget your pet? Did you did you did you forget your did you forget your password? Probably. Hey kid, heard from Walter, your computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here? Can we, uh, quit it with the banter and just like get to the the password giving? Have a lot of expensive equipments laying around, don't want anything happening to it. 
Yeah, I understand. I'll take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. Um, egg. Oh. What's in your recycling bin? Guide to being, uh... I'm gonna restore this. Guide to being a better person. Okay, we'll come back. Um, what are we supposed to do? Okay, critical error. Oh, no. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Ooh. Guide to being a better person. Talk and talk. Directed by Alec Carson himself. Is this what he films? Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Don't be rude. <laughs> being rude will... Uh... Uh, hey, hey, oh, hold on. Remain calm in any conversation. Oh, yeah, I don't oh, look. 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 Oh, no, absolutely not. I'm not okay with this right now. Oh, no, 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 absolutely fucking not. I am not okay with this. I don't like that. Okay, let's just, let's just go watch some TV now, Mr. Carson. You're fucked. No, get up, get up, get, get the hell up right now. Please get up. I took my headphones off and I kind of like rolled my chair to the corner of the room. I'm not going to lie. That actually like really got to me. Oh no. I don't like your couch placement. I don't I don't like that. I also don't like that it's space to get up. Can I uh just press exit, please? It's so much more natural. Hello. Welcome. Oh no no. Can I get up? No, I can't get up. I'm glued to the chair. Oh shit. It's my favorite dish, hee <laughs> hee. Doesn't that just look delicious? Oh this? Yeah, hee. <laughs> Me being glued to the chair, unable to move, and vision restricted is not funny. Also, the fact that I'm Next, we dip the cardboard hearing the noises. Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Groceries. Got, oh, gross, grocerios. Mr. Bike. Hey. Oh shit. Wait. Oh my god, I'm actually riding it. Oh my god, I'm actually- I'm like, genuinely riding the bike. Do I have to ride to the store? Hello? I don't know which way the store is. Let's go right. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. 9.22 PM. Damn, man. At least put a kickstand up. Hello. Hi, you doing good? Doing good. Doing good. Use a shopping basket. Okay, sure. Uh, the basket. I remember ketchup was on the list. Is that ketchup? <laughs> Okay, well, um, sorry for all the, yeah. Ranch, strawberry jelly, choco spread for Alec. Ranch. Ranch. Choco spread. Evelyn, I'm busy. Eggs. Eggs. Garden peas, eggs, eggs, garden peas. Dog food? Hi. Whoa. Hello. Um, I'm just here shopping. Okay, son. My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? This is the smallest grocery store known to mankind. If you can't find the mustard, there's something wrong with you. The, 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 the. hey, hi. Speak of the devil, Turner and Andy. Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? K. 
Terra or something? Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, dude. Uh, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. MILF energy, bro. <laughs> Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Goth MILF energy. Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, house sitting at the moment. I mean, Alex, can you get that out of my face? Uh, he goes to school with my sister. Her kid's real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. All right, dude, see you at school on Monday then. Bye-bye. Okay, I guess we're, uh, just gonna just back it up. Mosey on out of here. Back to the creepy ass fucking house. Here we go. Um, yes. Oh, this way. Yeah. I had to pee again, and I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. Of course. Uh, oh right, I broke the game. Good. Bike's good, we're here, we're living. It's also still really fucking dark, and I don't appreciate that. Okay, let's put the groceries down. Groceries. You're welcome. Okay, what, what the fuck? I was hungry, right? I, I had to make food? Or something? This isn't my place, I can't really just like, steal this man's food. There we go. Like I said, I had to get on my schoolwork for Monday. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Andy! Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Excuse me? Roy Carson Divorce Div That's not how you spell divorce Divorce, I promise I'm good at this Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media Claims to be receiving death threats From his angry fans of his ex-wife It's not unusual for an audience to be nosy About some celebrities' personal matters But sometimes it's just too overbearing we see, some, uh, we see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO of co and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown... Uh, but I think I read that wrong. Whatever. <laughs> For <laughs> rumored infidelity that underwent within uh, said relationship. I understand what's going on. Sort. Uh, I'm sorry? Ding dong. Hello. Um, hold on. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Wow. Convenient timing, considering there's someone at the fucking front door at the moment that I happen to be reading that. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Where the fuck did my flashlight go? Seriously, it's too dark around these areas. Oh, Hello? Sir? Let's see. I see you. Uh, who are you? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot. Uh, you must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson. Weird that there'd be a lot of knocking and... Oh, you're not gonna leave me alone, are you? Please open the door, sir. Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to cancel the order? I don't know, man. 
Fuck you. How are you gonna go knocking on the door? Ringing the doorbell that many times? Why aren't you standing in the middle? Don't do that! Holy shit! That's not- it's not mine, though, dude. That's- I didn't- Hi. Yeah, hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? Hey, this is not my house. I understand, you can just say no. Well, you have a good day. I basically said no. Sorry, get the fuck out of here. Also... <laughs> Bye. Bro, you have a car. What are you talking about? How you... A pizza? The pizza? Hey, man. We got the pizza? I can zoom in on the pizza? What? Uh, look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Cool, thanks. You should have said that when you ordered the pizza, not as it showed up. I thought I could watch some TV while eating. Wow, crazy, I thought the same thing. If only I could place the fucking pizza. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna... Sure, let's just sit down. Hey, yo, channel 10 is weird. Oh my God, do I actually have to sit and eat the pizza? Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Are you doing your work? Yeah, I'm doing my work. You have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. What? If you tell me what the radius of two squared is, I'll think about sparing you. I'm just gonna eat my pizza. My name is Jack Bardex. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. I hope everything's okay. Alright, is this, uh, okay. I heard someone at the door again, yeah. Really? Okay, cool. Uh-oh, I don't like this. Unknown sender. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Uh... One, I don't know who you are, and two... I don't know a whole lot of people who would just, like, randomly ask those questions, so I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to say, nah. I assumed it was the wrong number. So would I, naturally. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. That's what we're going for. Gotta get that schoolwork. Schoolwork is on the desk. Yeah. Engrossment. <laughs> oh, hello? 136. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Yeah, but why? Escape to read messages. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? What is beeping? Okay, Zeke is barking like crazy. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. It was suddenly very cold outside. Yeah, it's also 1.30 in the morning, so... Understandable, dude. Where is Zeke? Hi. Zeke was acting very weird. As you should be, Zeke. Zeke won't go inside, and I feel like neither should I. Okay, I was just being stupid. The uh, power was exactly where Zeke was barking, so he was basically trying to tell me. And I refuse to listen to him. I'm sorry, Zeke. I turned the power back on. I sure did. Okay. You could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Also, for sure, it had to be turning. It was really starting to piss me off. Can I grab a knife? I'm not 
I don't feel safe. Hey buddy, can you come in? I don't like hearing your whimpering nor being like fully alone right now. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I don't know if I like this. Why the fuck did the music stop? No, 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 no. Anyways. Oh, they're gonna be like behind the door or some shit. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, 110%. Go the other way. Shit! Oh. oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, where I know, uh, I I know where not to go. Uh, I'm assuming that's uh, Kara, the girl that we broke up with. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Bro, there's someone in the house. We know it. We heard the beep of the phone. The message. She's clearly right fucking there, dude. This is not okay. I'm not okay with this at all. Where's the room? Where's the room? Where's the room? Oh, she would have been standing like right, right here, right? Like behind the curtain or the, the door? Okay, schoolwork, I guess. Let's go. Engrossment. I feel pretty engrossed right now. My god. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. I guess we're just... Get up now. Go, go. I heard the sound of a knife. And I'm not okay with that at all. I did not mean to scream that loud. I'm so sorry. So was she, she following me? Or was she in the kitchen? That scared me so bad, I have a fucking headache. Okay. Well, she clearly... I saw a knife missing from there. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, before, right? Before we do that... Before we actually go get ourselves killed in the fucking kitchen... From this angle, I can't see the knife has been taken. There I can, yeah, duh. Now what if, right? Hear me out, she already knocked over this stuff. And opened the door. So if I go this way, or better yet, what if I just leave? What if I just, what if I just don't? And if I make that loop, oh man, I don't know. I feel like it's inevitable. I feel like as soon as I turn my back to turn this off, she's gonna come. Are we okay? I highly doubt it. So obviously we know it's not Turner, but we have to play through this as if we are us. He's been snooping around this house. It's not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. Hello? 
don't start with the strings, please. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops, but that time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the idea never entered my head. I don't remember where a phone was, and I feel like every single turn that I make in this house is completely the wrong way. Because I feel like no matter what, I'm still gonna get jumped. I just have to close the back door. Thank you. I'm gonna go the same way that I came, because I don't trust anything, or any direction, or any way, at all. Closing every door. Don't care. I don't like turning my back to wide open rooms. Oh, I'm gonna have this fear in real life, I swear. Alright. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. No. Oh my god. I left the house and ran the block. My dad called the cops. I'm so sorry, I was quiet. I was like shitting my pants. <laughs> okay. Uh, though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house, but I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough and had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, but of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and showed everything, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that the nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Holy shit. Okay, wow. That was a lot to go through. Hope you enjoyed.